telescraper, pushing snow off of concrete. wasn't a big snow, but it's just enough. Kind of need to clean it up. It's a good test run for it. It's working good. So, lately, we've been working on some projects in the shop, and I've got three videos that I want to do that are not related to our normal content on the farm. Number one, highly requested, is an equipment tour. Number two is kind of a who's who, and a little bit of history on our farm, how we've changed over the years, how we've evolved, how it started, things like that. And the last one is kind of an Area 21 wrap up. So basically I wanna go through, thank everybody who was involved in the project, go through some things that we might change, kind of go through some of the process, things that we liked, any kind of bottlenecks we had, and kind of a update on how it's been on the back end of it, loading out procedures and stuff like that. Be looking for those videos. The equipment tour is gonna to be coming first so what I need to do is I need to get on a piece of paper and write down all of our tractors, the year, the hours, and kind of a little background, a little story about the tractor and then what it does on the farm and stuff like that. In the meantime, we got some projects in the shop, so let's get in. Before we head into the shop, I don't think you guys have ever seen our scale house and what we do in here and how it works. This right here is the scale. You take one of these tickets, put it in here, click a bunch of buttons on there, way in, way out. Maybe I'll show that sometime, but that's that. Right there we've got tickets from our end users and our own tickets. Separate them out, pile them up so we can add them up. Here we've got a loadout sheet. So we just mark down every load, you know, what truck it was, whose it is, ticket numbers, and the bushels and where it went. And then right here is kind of the inventory whiteboards. It shows everybody's inventory, what everybody's got for corn. So that's inside the scale house here. It's a nice little office. Just kind of keep some grain things in here and keep track of things. There's the chief. There's Uncle Mike and G Money. There's the other little G Money and his dad. Little, little G Money too and his mom. And there's the three boys. Look at us, so young. Oh my goodness. That's a, a guy who's helped us in the past. There's Dejan Mustard. There's me, DJ28. There's Bucky and Megan in the 4450. And then there's the Honey Badger. Yes, very neat. That was a fun tractor ride. Look at that lineup. We've been working on the F450 7.3 Power Stroke. I got the inside cleaned up, vacuumed out. We're doing some work to this thing. We had some toolboxes back here and they were, they were shot. The doors actually, the hinges were so bad they broke off. As you know around here, if you got a place to put junk, guess what you put there? Junk. It looks a lot better and it'll be easier to clean underneath there. We'll get some nice mud flaps. Now the exhaust, will be free and we're gonna use get an adapter get this nice brap tip put on it'll look really good look sharp i just need to get this frame of the old toolbox cut out sort and through some of these drawers need to get these cleaned up nice we're actually going to do some reconfiguring on the service truck we're going to get rid of both these bulky toolboxes because all these hold is tools and we want to get some kind of road box, kind of like what Bucky has on his service truck for work. It will be able to hold every single tool. This is just an electric pump, and it does not pump very fast at all. So we're going to get a gas-powered pump, mount it down there, and then we're going to move this reel and also put that down there. And then we're going to make a DEF tank, about a 100-gallon DEF tank. That's the plan. 
for right now, get this cut out, get everything cleaned up and organized. Let's get into it. that side off I did that side yesterday with these two boxes gone what we're actually thinking to sort of replace them if you look right here there's an open channel all the way to the back it's it's open there's just this channel iron right here both sides we want to make a pull out toolbox about right here it'd be about four or five inches deep it would be perfect for receivers chains and a bunch of other little miscellaneous things that you don't get to every day, but we have it here, we have it pull out four feet or so. That'd be pretty slick, I would think. Hi, Blaze. Hi. How you doing? Shake. Hey, shake. Good girl. Okay, I'm gonna get my mess cleaned up. Start going through these toolboxes, trash out, sort them out. To be completely honest, the service truck probably hasn't been cleaned out really good for several years. I take this toolbox off because we have to put the gas powered pump under here and potentially the hose reel. So there's not enough room in the toolbox for them. It came out way easier than the back ones and they're a lot tougher. Sometimes overkill is too much. We'll actually probably be able to keep all this framework here. It's pretty, pretty decent and use it for mounting uh, the pump and the hose reel. The removal of the junk toolbox. Oh, well, they're not junk. One day cleanup, one day destruction. We've got everything stripped off. So we either go like this, put the tip on here like that, and then we can put a mud flap there and cover it. What I want to do is, I want to come from there straight out. I want to have that pipe right here. Like the new vehicles, you just see it coming right out the bumper, so sleek and clean. And all the mud slop on this goes right past it. We'll have a nice big mud flap. And then we still have room to mount my little cube toolbox. No. Yes. You ask yourself. The goal is Why are we redoing simple, this? streamline, ease of use, ease of removal. We want to make this functional. This pump, love the old fillerites, but for 300 gallon, it's just, it's too slow. Take this off. We'll put a gas powered pump down here, probably a Honda pump that will drain that tank probably like in five minutes. Put the hose reel down here, and that frees up room here, because this is where the hose reel was before, and that's where we want to put the def tank. We want to have, this has its own def tank that can stay on here year round, take it off if we want. It's just dedicated to here and it fits the purpose. The other big plastic tank is a little too big for this area. To be continued. There you go. See you in the funnies. So our transfer pump's gonna go in here somewhere. This is the beginning of the mounting of the hose reel. Tedious little mounting brackets. You can see that fits up in there so nice. Got just enough room. We gotta get some plates across here to mount it and I'm bolting everything so if we ever have to drop this out, we can get it out, on the, at least on the front side. Once we find our pump, get that mounted down there and then we can start plumbing everything into it. Farm managers are always helping. Got my mounting plates underneath. Got them bolted in there. Pretty even. Nice hose reel setting in there. Very 
precision close up there. Not gonna hit anything. Let's see how this goes. Blaze, I might need some help. Whoa. Feel it. Last hole. We got the tough one drilled. Probably should have video that was really fun. No pressure. Another fun visit to Gervage. Drum roll, please. I guess. Mm, $250. I'm going to guess $341. All right. And drum roll, please, again. 341. Oh, he already looked. I may have been. You cheater. <laughs> On we go to the next project. And they say I, I stand around and talk. <laughs> yeah, look at this. Caught red-handed. Standing and talking. Later. 